Give me two pies with pepperoni. Hello everybody, my name is Ryan. I'm here at One Fat Frog and today we are going to talk pizza kitchens. So we built here in our um, corporate uh, showroom a little pizza, mock pizza little kitchen here. And we're gonna bring out Chef Bruno, one of our corporate chefs, to talk to us a little bit about how the equipment is used, why it's used, and uh, best practices in the pizza kitchen. So, Chef, welcome. Good to have you. How you doing? Right, thank you for having me again. Uh, hello, everybody. We're going to talk about a pizzeria setup. Not a restaurant, just a pizzeria. We're going to sh show you and tell you the equipment that you're going to need to get a pizzeria going. Right? Okay. All right, so let's start at the beginning. What's the first thing we're going to look at today? I got, got my refrigeration over here. Oh. All right, well, you know, we have a... a a dome mixer, okay. which you're going to need. A, what you see here is too big, so you need a 60 quart. For a regular pizzeria, the 60 quart is standard size, which you have size it is. This is 100, that's too big. <laughs> so what, you'd use this in like a bakery or some high volume restaurant? Well, just like I said, this is too big for a pizzeria. Now, there is some pizzerias I do have them that big, but they're high volume, okay? So if you're a lucky one there, you'll, you'll own one of these. Gotcha. And uh, next we're going to look at the rich end refrigerator. I like the glass door, because you can see what's there. Brand okay. new too. That's your uh, soda dispenser. Yeah. All right, and then we got the two door rich end, which you need that in a pizzeria. You want to go with three doors refrigerator. Then you're gonna need a two-door freezer. Okay. A reach-in, all right? So you put them side by side. And from there, this is a, this is a rack. You keep your pan in there, comes in very handy. So you don't have to carry everything in your hands. You gotta have that. This is a pizza prep table. This is a 72 inch. That's your standard size. You can go to 96. Okay, with the high rail. You got the bins in here. Where you put all your food product. Now, now what's the difference between a sandwich prep table and a pizza prep table? It's a good one. The sandwiches are, the white carrier is smaller. Okay, so the cutting area is smaller. For the pizza, you need the bigger the better. Actually, it should be 18 inch. 18 okay. inches? But this is fine. With refrigerator, you have the racks in there where you put your dough balls in there, in the containers. All right. So here, here you can cut up all your vegetables, store them below, bring them back up. No, you leave them so, there overnight. Yeah, right. fill it up. Yeah. Those containers, once you put them here, they stay here until they're empty. Okay. So next thing you're going to need this is the most important thing in a pizzeria, the oven. This is a single six pie oven. Stone inside. The whole inside is stone, which is better, drier, more crunchier, faster. What the stone does, it takes the moisture out of your pizza, you know, the steam. So that's why you get a crunchy pie. Also, a quicker. And this, how long does it take to heat one of these, these stones up? To get an oven going to the right temperature, it's gonna take at least four to five hours. So I suggest what everybody else does, don't turn it off at night, lower it down to 300. So when you come in the next day, Put it to 550, and one hour you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. You're gonna save gas, you're gonna save money. Okay, if you wanna get it going from zero to 550, the burner is gonna keep going, it's gonna waste gas like crazy. So, and the oven still won't be ready, so you gotta leave it at 300 every night. Then come in the next day, they put it to 550. That's the right way of doing it. 
But this is a single oven. What you're gonna need, you're gonna need a double stack. Okay. Why you need a single oven? Two reasons. You get busy, one oven is not big enough. You need two ovens. It breaks down, you got a backup. Mm. You have another oven to keep you going. Uh, you need an oven brush. You need a paddle. All right, the next thing is. Now you have two paddles here. You have a metal one and a wooden one. Okay, well, what, what do you I don't like the wood to pull out. I like the metal to pull out. The wood is to put the pie in. Put it in, okay? Easier, it doesn't stick well, as Well, you gotta put it on the wood, or it won't slide out. Oh, and I take them out with the metal. All right, from there, we're gonna go to uh, some people like walking coolers. If you have the room and the money, you put a walking cooler. Then you don't need rich in refrigeration, all you need is the freezer. Then you're gonna need a three bay sink. You gotta have a sink, that's the law. Uh, you gotta have a, a water heater. You're gonna need a, a, a grease trap underneath the sink. That's the law, that's the way it is. You need a cheese grater that attaches into the machine. Okay. There's an attachment that goes in here. You grate the cheese, the mozzarella cheese. Interesting. All right, you're also gonna need soda machine, which the soda company will give you. All right. Then you're gonna need a chef table in the back to do all your prep work. Mm. Okay, you're gonna need at least an eight footer. Two four footer is good. Depends how big your operation is. As you're growing, you're gonna need more equipment. You need a dishwasher? No, because you don't have a restaurant. So you wash all your stuff in the sink. Make sure the sink is 20 inch square. The square, the bay, gotta be 20 inch. Because these pans are 20 inch. So when the inspector comes, if this don't fit, it's gonna make you get a new one. Now, if this is all we need to do a pizza. A regular, pizza just pizza, just, just pizza. pizza. Now just this would pizza. all fit on a, on a trailer, a food truck, pretty easily. Now, this equipment can all go on a food truck. For pizza. Okay. You might do away with this in the food truck. Yeah, you would do your prep before you go. Correct. Right, so because you, yeah, you have a central kitchen. You got a lot of storage room over here. You could put four racks in here, so you don't need that, okay? Okay. But if you're not in a food truck, that's fine. Okay. So in the food trucks you could put they could put two ovens. Twenty deep or 40 deep. Depends how big the food truck is. Okay. Uh, in the food truck, you got a hot water heater, right? Yep. Three compartment sink, hand wash. Three compartment sink, a hand sink. Mm -hmm. We got the hood, the fire suppression. The hood. So if it's gas, there, there's... Gas ice. tanks. Yep. They're okay. outside, 50, what is it, 50 pounds? 100. 100 pounds. Each, so 200 total. So you have two, two tanks, right? Mm -hmm. So you're good to go. Uh, this stuff comes with the truck. So all you have to do is get on the truck, go to the carnival, open the door, turn the oven on, and start making money, okay? But of course, you gotta have all your product ready. Right, you don't wanna make your dough, you could buy, you could buy your dough, okay? You could buy your frozen dough, hmm. if you know how to use it. But I suggest you make your own. You get a, a, a six-quart mixer. You get a thirty-quart mixer for trailers, good, and you can make your dough fresh. You can't use it right away. You got to give it twenty-four hours proof. So you got to make enough for one day. One in and one out. One in and one out. Do you know what I mean mm -hmm. by that, right? One in and one out. You got one ready and one for backup. All right, water. You can't just use any water because it will interfere with your uh, mm. your dough. So you go out and buy these big uh, 20 gallon jugs for your dough that you make. The pizza sauce, you can buy it already made or you can make your own. 
A lot of people make their own, and they say, I don't like it. I think you're better off if you're going to do in the food trucks. You buy it already made, or you do open the cans, and you're ready to go. Okay, you got the bins. Now, I have a quick question about the water. Is Does it matter if it's filtered, spring water? No, it's just from the gallon, the jug is good. Okay, so good. as long as it's purified yeah, water. Yeah, don't, uh, don't open the spigot. When the water is too, too warm, it's no good. It's got bacteria in there, like you know. Interesting. When the water is cold, which you're going to use cold water, the cold water kills anything that is in the water. It's more healthier. Understand? Mm. All right, let me talk to you about the, the pizza table here. Okay. That you're going to get in the, in the food truck. You got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got nine top, nine bins. All right. Yeah. That means you got, you got enough room for nine toppings. Pepperoni, sausage, onions, peppers. Okay, that's a lot. But don't go too crazy in the food trucks that you're gonna have 10, 10 kind of pizza. You'll never make any money like that. It's too much work. You gotta save the people quick, boom. I will do pepperoni, sausage, onions, and that's it. If you wanna do more, that's up to you. But you're gonna host, you're gonna slow the line out there, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is what you need. It comes in a truck also, smaller. If you want bigger, yes, but you need a bigger truck, okay? Yep. These people can give you anything you want. They could give you a house on wheels. Mm -hmm. So this is a basic for pizza truck. We're not talking about pizzeria in the street. We're talking about a pizzeria in the truck. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm telling you. So don't come after me. Hey, you know, you, know, you told me to do this. No, this is for a truck. This is what we're selling you right now. Mm -hmm. If you go bigger, you'll put more equipment. That means the bigger they are, the more money you're going to make. Well, I'd like to know real quick how we have this all set up and why. Well, if you if you're left-handed, you're right-handed, there's a system. The way I have this, this is right-handed. And I'll show you why. I make my pie, I gotta go in the oven, it's a quick turn. Boom, in the oven. Then I come back. If you're left-handed, you gotta make too much turn. Oh, I see. You see it? Right. Okay, mm -hmm. and then you gotta do the same thing again. Now watch me again. Fix the right hand. Whoop. In the oven. Now I do half a turn. Okay. Now we're gonna do the left hand again. A lot of people don't know that. Okay, now you got people working the counter. Get out of my way, I'm making a turn. <laughs> Stay over here. Stay over okay. here. Okay, all right. Now, I'm doing left hand turn now, right? You got people in front of you. Yeah, people are bumping into each other. Okay, now stay there. You're dropping pizzas. I'm in the oven and you drop your pie on the floor. Now, oop, in. now I got to do the same thing again. Get out of the way, you see? Right. So there's a reason. You have to know. I saw a truck here the other day that the guy did a left handed. That guy will be back. Because he asked for that. Yeah. All the trailers we do are 100% custom. Right. So We'll make them to fit you. Mm -hmm. We make them to fit at least three people. What is that, 20, 20 footer? 20 yeah. footer is made for three people. Easy to move. You got to move. Because you got to save people. You got to move. Okay. So don't make that mistake. Make sure you do right handed. All right, well, Chef Bruno, thank you for um, well, helping have, us out. Yeah, I have to say another thing. Uh, 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 we here to help you. Because if you don't make money out there, it's no good for us. Not only do we want to sell you the truck, we want to put you in business. We want you to work for yourself and be and prosper. Let's make America great. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Chef. It was good to have you here. You like thank that, you. Eh? Um, we're looking forward to cooking some pizzas in our next episode. Um, uh, Chef Bruno has, like you said, 50, over 50 years' experience. He's quite 
quite the he's got quite the resume. Um, he's cooked for a lot of very famous people, uh, presidents, celebrities, um, and so he is now part of the team. He's here to help you with your menu, with your restaurant concepts, to help you get going on your very first food truck, your restaurant, or whatever else you need. Uh, we're here to help. Thank you for watching.